Hey there and welcome to How to BIM. In this new tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and export 4D simulations using the Timeliner tool in Navisworks. So, whether you already have your construction schedule to import, or you want to follow the steps and create it task by task, or if you're just lazy, you can just download the one linked in the description below. So first we will launch Revit. This is the Revit model we're going to be using. You can download it from the link in the description below. You can also download the exporter from RVT files to NWC, which is the format we're using to import in Navisworks. Now we'll go to File, Export. Here you will find the NWC exporter as soon as you install it. It's an easy process. Now we will give our file a name, for example, um, Navisworks Timeliner example or test. And then we have to set our Navisworks settings. So first we will make sure that we convert the element IDs, convert element parameters, all of them. Convert the element properties, we will decheck the, to the convert URLs tab and then Make sure to choose a uh, project internal in coordinates and then in export we will go to current view entire project also make sure to divide file into levels and then we will simply click ok and save the export wouldn't take that long and then we will launch navisworks so first we will append our model Make sure to choose an NWC in your uh, type of uh, files, so your file appears, Navisworks Timeliner example and open. So yeah, whenever you launch Navisworks, you'll come across the construction guy with a hard hat, so uh, in order to remove it, we're going to press on viewpoints, navigation tools, and enable third person by, by right clicking, obviously. And now we will go to uh, Navisworks Home and to our uh, Timeliner tool. So you can press on the, the tab that has uh, the word uh, tasks if you're going to add your tasks manually. But in this example, we're going to use the data sources and we will add a CSV file. So now I'm going to show you how to create a, uh, an example of a uh, construction schedule. First, we will set the order, then the name of the task, the start date of the task, the end date of the task, and finally, the task type. So, for example, in tasks, we can write topography, foundation, whatever tasks we're going to be covering in our construction project. The start date, make sure that you set it as a, a date format. And most importantly, in the type of tasks, you should write construct so uh, Navisworks can understand that we're using construct uh, later. So this is the uh, timeliner uh, schedule I have already prepared. You can download it. I've added the, the link to the uh, Google Sheet in the description below. You can download it if this is just your first time trying to create a simulation and you want to follow with the tutorial. So make sure you save it as a CSV file so we can uh, add it in our data source CSV import and we will open our uh, CSV timeliner. So uh, in our field selector, make sure that the first uh, row contains headings and to automatically detect each column to the external field in the CSV. Then we'll go back to Timeliner, Data Source, and we will rebuild our tasks. We'll go back to the Tasks tab. And here is our imported uh, construction schedule with all the relevant data that we added in the CSV. The task type can be either construct, demolish, or uh, temporary, but for this example, we're only going to be constructing from zero. The next relevant column is attached, in which we will be attaching uh, sets from the model to each task. Okay, I have already uh, shown how to uh, attach or how to create sets overall in the first video in this 
uh, in this uh, playlist but I'm gonna do it again since we'll need it in this video you can watch the whole playlist if this is your first time uh, using uh, Navis works so yeah uh, now we're gonna do find item tool and then we will choose in the category which is category in property we'll go to category name condition will be equal and then we will choose the value this is the best way to select elements in the model so the first thing we'll construct is the topography obviously so we'll go to find all and it selected our topography next we will go to sets and we will create the we will create our first set we'll name it topography and we will do the same thing to the rest of the uh, steps or the elements in the model that are relevant to tasks. You can also use the selection tree to select uh, elements from the model and link them to uh, the task. For example, uh, the uh, standard view will give you the uh, floors in order from foundation to top in your model since we exported with uh, including the levels in Revit. Also, you can uh, choose by property if there's certain uh, elements that has to construct at the same time in a more complex uh, construction schedule. Ours is just basic and simple. So yeah, I have already created all the sets that I'm going to need in my simulation. And now we will uh, start our uh, attachment. We will be attaching every set to uh, its relevant task starting with foundation then structural columns then slabs walls stairs MEP equipment ceilings and curtain walls and then entourage Next we'll go to configure, in here you can simply choose what to hide, what to appear, the transparency of each type of tasks and whatsoever. I'm not going to change any of the colors in here, I'm going to keep it to default and we will pass to simulate. Uh, before running the simulation I want to change the background to something a little darker, so we'll go to uh, mode plain and black. Okay, now uh, we will try to find the perfect angle so we can uh, view our uh, project being constructed. Now we'll go back to Timeliner and check the uh, simulation settings. To know uh, what we want to choose to appear on the left side of our screen, such as date or uh, weeks and uh, days uh, numbers. And now we will simply hit play and watch our uh, model being constructed. Well, if you're interested in a more advanced course on how to create a better uh, 4D simulations with more specific configures and uh, more uh, specific settings, you can watch uh, my next video. And now we will go to the right side and choose export. You can simply use the default choices. This is just an example and uh, yes, thank you for watching, subscribe and like if you like this content.